What's going on guys? Wow, it's so bright. It's so bright I should probably either turn this around. No, even that doesn't work. I should probably have sunglasses on. In fact, that's better. You can't see my eyes, but I can see you guys. And best of all, my eyes are protected. Uh, anyways, today's video isn't a photography vlog, but it's more of a life update. Kind of want this channel to be like a mix of my life as a travel photographer. And then of course, a bunch of photography vlogs mixed in there as well. So that's kind of what's happening. I don't know if there'll be photography on today's video. Today's video is about a vehicle and potentially us getting a new vehicle. One of the luxuries I've had being a, a travel photographer for the past 10 years is that I've had the chance to drive, you know, basically every vehicle on the planet aside from like crazy sports cars like Ferraris and Lamborghinis. In fact, even before I was a travel photographer, I was a tour bus driver in Canada. So I've driven everything from two door Fiat 500s all the way to tour buses that hold 56 passengers. And I've loved being able to do that. But I've also been so jealous over the years of people that can customize vehicles in a way that's, you know, special and unique to themselves. So one of the goals Jody and I had when we came to Portugal was to find a vehicle that we could do that. I really wanted a Jeep Wrangler because every time we're in the US or Canada, that's kind of what we rent. And I've loved them every single time I've had one, but they're crazy, crazy expensive in Portugal, especially for the newer ones. The older ones, yeah, you can find some decent deals, but generally they have a ton of miles on them. So it seemed like a Jeep Wrangler wasn't in the cards. We wanted a vehicle that was customizable, that could kind of go anywhere off-road, we wanted a vehicle that had potential convertibility because here in the Algarve you always got these blue skies and we wanted a vehicle that could potentially tow something like a trailer eventually. So Jody and I have been scouring the classifieds for the past, basically since we got here looking for the right thing and just haven't found something perfect until a couple days ago when I was looking online and I found a vehicle that I think is beyond perfect. One of the cooler vehicles I've ever seen. And as a Canadian, you don't see these vehicles very often in Canada. In fact, I don't think I'd ever seen one of these vehicles until I was in the UK. And every time I see one in the wild, I'm like, that vehicle is beautiful. And so for you guys, this might be a normal vehicle. For me, this is something extraordinary and I'm so beyond excited that I can't even keep in my emotions. So tomorrow morning, Jody and I have a meeting with the owner here in Portugal of this vehicle. We're gonna go and check it out, potentially test drive it, and potentially buy it. So it's not the Bentley, it's not the Porsche, Defender. So I've always loved Defenders, always. They're just so cool. They're not fast, they're you know not genius engineering or anything like that, but they're just awesome. And they fit all of my needs for Portugal. I wanted uh, a removable roof, I wanted four wheel drive, I wanted something that wasn't going to decrease in value and most importantly I wanted something that Jody would agree with me on because she's the boss. Because what you meant is we wanted something with a removable roof. We wanted something that would lose its value. And we didn't want to get abused today so we should have been more careful about what we said but we're still not 100% sure this will be ours. We're going to test drive it right now. So I'm never going to let you go. Does it make me look really small? Yeah, you look tiny. I feel really small. We belong together. All the places that their best friends go. Okay, we're back home. We do not, I'm gonna hop on this. Ooh. Probably uh, I'm zoomed in. Ah, I'm just, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> we're home. I don't know why I'm so uh, distracted today. Probably just because I'm excited. We don't have the car. It was really, really fun to drive and I absolutely loved it. It's just, 
It's special. It kind of reminds me of when I first started driving. I used to work this job when I was like 18 years old at the county in Canada. We had these old Dodge trucks with the, you know, the gear shift and the standard and it, it kind of felt like that. And in a way it was just really, really nice to drive because I didn't feel like I needed to go fast. I didn't feel like I was in a hurry. I just, I just really enjoyed driving, but I think it's always, it always makes sense to, to spend a night to think about it. So Jody and I are gonna sit and talk about it and think about it. And then we do have a meeting with the dealership again in uh, a couple days to uh, negotiate. And I guess then we'll make a decision. So um, let's just uh, jump ahead to the decision. We just uh, left the car place and check this out, keys. We have keys to our, well, the first ever cone car I've ever owned. It's also the first ever car Jody's ever owned. We've got the canvas top on now. And I think to celebrate, we're gonna go for a little bit of a drive. We're gonna head to Silvis. I've never been there. We've never been there. We don't even know it's there, but we got wheels. Let's go. And every time you go away, I never wanna say goodbye. So we take it slow Let the seeds of love beneath us grow so we're being total Instagrammers right now, which isn't a bad thing. I don't mean that as an insult because we're looking to get like a picture or a thumbnail of our new baby, which we're naming Simba, I think. Have we decided on that? I think so. Uh, we're in the I way. So. Oh, we'll get that this way. <laughs> we're, we're thinking Simba because there's a, a song called Rover right now on the, on the airwaves and it's by somebody called Simba. So we were like, it has to be called Simba. Uh, anyways, we're trying to get a photo of Simba for the thumbnail of this video and struggling to find a cool spot. We're in Silvish and the castle's up there. So we're just driving through the old town trying to get thumbnails. It's stupid, but it needs to be done. I have to say I'm loving the Defender. Yes, it's bumpy. And yes, we did kind of get stuck in town in Silvish on these tiny little roads and it was a little bit scary for the first time. So we've come outside of Silvish where there's these really nice hills to try to get our thumbnail. <laughs> kind of ridiculous, but whatever. Okay, not much of a photography vlog today. In fact, not a photography vlog today, but I don't want my channel to just be photography. I want it to be life. I want it to be the life of a photographer. And part of life is finally buying your first car at age 36. And I, to me, that's still just amazing that it's taken me till 36 to be able to buy a car. But I'm so blessed and feel so grateful that Jody and I have been able to get this uh, Defender 1999 Defender 90 TD5. I don't know what order those are supposed to be reeled off in because I've never owned a car before. But it's beautiful. Simba's beautiful. Portugal's beautiful. My lovely Jody's beautiful. Everything's beautiful. Everything's great. And on the next episode, I think I'm going on my first full on like driving adventure with the Defender. I'm gonna try to go to Alentejo, which is supposed to be spectacular and hopefully some astro and some landscape photography and all sorts of fun. Just me and Simba out on the open road. Sorry, Jody. Peace.